Understanding the phrase, punching bag, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, punching bag. This phrase is rich in meaning and is commonly used in everyday English. So, whether you're a language learner or just curious about English idioms, stay tuned to discover the various aspects of this interesting expression. Firstly, let's explore the literal meaning of punching bag. A punching bag is a sturdy bag designed to be repeatedly punched. It's used for exercise, particularly in boxing and martial arts. This physical object serves as a tool for people to practice their punching techniques. Understanding this literal meaning is crucial as it forms the basis for the metaphorical uses of the phrase. In a metaphorical sense, a punching bag refers to someone or something that is frequently criticized or blamed. This usage stems from the idea of the physical punching bag, which endures repeated hits. When a person is described as a punching bag, it implies that they are often on the receiving end of criticism, blame, or anger, much like the physical bag takes punches. To better understand the metaphorical use, let's look at some examples. 1. Ever since the project failed, John has become the punching bag at work, with everyone blaming him. 2. I'm tired of being the emotional punching bag in our friendship, constantly taking the blame for everything that goes wrong. These examples show how the phrase is used in everyday language to describe a person who is unfairly blamed or criticized. When using the phrase, punching bag, it's important to be aware of its negative connotations. It's typically used in contexts where someone feels unjustly treated or overwhelmed by criticism. It's not a phrase to be used lightly, as it carries a sense of sympathy for the person being described as a punching bag. So, there you have it. The phrase, punching bag, is a powerful expression in the English language, conveying a sense of enduring criticism or blame. We hope this video has shed light on its meanings and uses. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and emotions they convey. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.